12 o'clock tomorrow. We're moving at 12 o'clock. We haven't packed at all. We have an entire apartment to pack. Are we lazy or are we just smart? I haven't figured that out yet, but we'll find out tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Um, so tomorrow we're going to move to Musashi Urawa. It's like uh, an hour and a half away. Um, we've rented a van and we're gonna get a van tomorrow to take all of our stuff to Musashi Urawa. But today we have to pack up our entire apartment into boxes and bags. I've heard lots about bags in the last couple minutes. And um, what else should I say? What am I missing? I don't know, what? Did I miss anything? No, we just got some bags. Yeah, we just bought some bags. <laughs> and, um, ooh, we also just spent all of our money on our Mommy Mart card. Had a thousand yen on that bad boy. Yes, we got all these groceries for 61 yen! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> um, so we wanted to give like a tour of our apartment now and show the contrast to our new apartment. Um, new apartment's gonna be small, as we probably already said. So enjoy the luxury while we still have it. <laughs> Moss. <laughs> we do have moss. <laughs> I may have explained before we have this little bot, there's a camera in there so we can see people when they ring the door and we can decide not to come to the door and talk to you about wieners. <laughs> That's a long, long story, but... <laughs> it's not a long story, you just told it. <laughs> I just told it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a little entryway and um, you can kind of see the size of the entryway. For reference, my foot is literally, I'm big, so my foot is literally about a foot. So that is about a foot. So what is it, three foot across that way and then this big. So yeah, it's a pretty big little entryway. And these are um, cabinets that you're supposed to put your shoes in, but we're lazy, so we don't put our shoes in there. And this is just another cabinet for stuff. Lingonberries. That's the lingonberry storage. <laughs> and we won't have much lingonberry storage soon. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so we have this little entryway. And um, from the entryway, when you come in, you have the kitchen area. So this is the kitchen area. And um, this is our laundry rack here. And this is outside. And that's a nice view, right? We have this big, beautiful view. And out this direction is where Mount Fuji is. And you can see him. He's like about this big when you can see him. <laughs> and um, a little playground over there. And here is our kitchen. This, and this is where I make most of my messes. Uh, yeah. That's not really true. I have I have particular places all over the apartment, but this is one of the ones. This is a, it yeah. is a messy area. And um, the sinks here are pretty big. So this is actually sitting and covering part of the sink. And so that the laundry, or the laundry the dishes can drip dry. And the sink is pretty deep and large. And- um, That's our dirty stove. Yeah, this is our dirty stove. And you can see we only have one burner, which is totally, it really kind of sucks actually. Um, so yeah, that it's, you want to cook two things and you can't. <laughs> and there's like an intake thing there and then room for all of our dishes and all of that stuff. I mean, nothing really that exciting, just places for things and stuff. Some, oh, something I really like about this though is this rack that is above the sink. So we put like snacks and we can hang towels there and stuff. And then we also have these hooks so we can hang things back here. And it's actually really nice. It makes it really easy to- um... Put dishes away, find utensils. They're yeah. hanging somewhere. They're yeah. somewhere in there. <laughs> I'll find them. Yeah, it's nice. Um, many people have asked us about moving to Japan. Um, so things that you might want to think about before you come that we didn't think about. Um, you can't bring these before you come, but you'll need to get them when you come, is a refrigerator. You can get these secondhand. Stand, stand by this refrigerator. <laughs> If that gives you an idea. <laughs> uh, this is actually bigger than what we need at the moment. We lived right down the street from the supermarket, so we can just go to the supermarket whenever we want. It's like a two minute walk. Um, so this is much bigger than what we actually need. I think we've got like 30% of this filled. So we could have a micro one if we wanted. Um, speaking of micro, microwave. Why did I not think we'd need a microwave? Well, I mean, this microwave is cute. It was given us to the, by the Swedes. It was free. And if you look, this doesn't move. 
the microwave has two features, on and off. It doesn't have like counting down and then off. That's not a feature. So sometimes you forget. It loves to work. It does. <laughs> um, a water boiler. Um, ours looks really cute, uh, but there are many different kinds. Um, we got ours for around 2,000 yen and uh, it's worked really well. It'll work for years. Um, it's a good investment for hot water for like uh, uh, boil noodle lunches or if you like tea. We know many people that like tea, so um, that. You know one person that likes tea. I know one person. <laughs> um, and a rice cooker. This is something that I've never had before, but in Japan this comes in very handy for many meals. And um, I don't know how much that costs. It didn't we got cost both anything. Of yeah, these both from of them. The Swedes. the Swedes gave us both of them. And our refrigerator costs like. It's like two hundred dollars or something. Uh, I think um, fourteen thousand yen. Oh really? So 14, like one hundred and fifty yeah. bucks or something. But you can get them secondhand, which uh, is good. Okay. And then trash Ooh. cans. This is our recycling. It's very organized. <laughs> yeah, right now it's kind of a mess. Well. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> and then regular burnable trash. So side the recycling has to be broken into three different the three different types of things or whatever. So. Plastic, cans, and glass. Mm, yeah. So, okay, so that's pretty much the kitchen. Um, oh yeah, like I said, this is the laundry rack. And we actually have these bars outside as well that you can hang for laundry. And this little room is a secondary bedroom that is usually completely empty. Yeah. Um, they, we've had, when we've had people visit, they've stayed in this room, but for the most part, it goes completely unused. Sometimes that big laundry rack, it doesn't, it, laundry rack is in here. But right now it's full of things that we went to Ikea and bought some furniture for the new apartment. And a lot of this is like the boxes for that furniture. And we have a big thing of paper towels and just things to move. This is room yeah, as this, this is like ready to move or ready to go in the garbage. Yeah, so this is yeah. just a disaster for moving. And hold on, hold on, hold on. Why don't you explain the floor? <laughs> oh, um, so we went to rent a van and um, we didn't get to see the vans before we rented them, which made things hard to understand how big, how big things would be. Um, but they did give us a brochure that broke down the measurements of how big the vans would be, and there were three types of vans. Van A, Van B, and Van C. And Van C goes all the way to Eric's feet, so Van C is gigantic. But we were hoping to use Van A because it's the cheapest. But we thought if Van B was a little bit bigger, which it is not bigger at all, it's a little we bigger. would go a little bit higher. But we're using Van A, the smallest van. So Katie taped out the floors, and then we measured like the even the height. <laughs> yeah, even the heights. We measured like the refrigerator and stuff, and then figured out will all of our things fit into this little tiny box. And at this point in time, we think it might, <laughs> but it might not. Okay, so coming back through the kitchen, then this is the living room area, and this is pretty simple. Again, we just have a table that we got from Ikea and four crappy chairs, and that's it. There's not a whole lot else going on in this room. Um, another, you can still see out the same windows or whatever, and you can see this is our air conditioning and heating unit that's outside, and it comes up to this thing, and this is where the hot and or cold air comes out. And something that's actually sort of interesting is this rack up here is um we don't it's supposed to be for pictures or something i don't know nobody's really ever given us a straight answer but we just hang coats on it and it's got these it's got, a hook. It's got this hook and the hooks move like along the thing it's really cool for just hanging coats and stuff and dropping coats and dropping coats. coats so that thing's been pretty awesome and our new apartment does not have that and that's a bummer yeah a little bit of a bummer um these lights are we bought these pretty cheap as well when we first moved in. When you move into an apartment here, there's no lights. So you have to buy lights. You're lucky if you get a light. Yeah, if you get a light, you're lucky, and it's usually ugly. It's and then we've got this closet here. And... Uh, you're ready? You're, wait, wait, wait. You're going to see how meticulous I am. It's a mess right now. It is a mess, but you'll still see how meticulous I am. Okay, so this is our closet of stuff. And Katie has, like, labeled each box with different things. That they're supposed to go in special places. Where's the Poke Box? <laughs> you gotta find the Poke Panda Box. <laughs> and um, let's see, just um, stuff. Vacuum. Baggy, the vacuum. <laughs> this is our vacuum cleaner, guitar case, stuff like that. I mean, that's all. Yeah. It's just, it's a closet. What do you, what do you want? <laughs> and so then you can go into the bedroom, 
And this is our bedroom and the floor is tatami. So it is like woven grass on wooden frames. I'm not an expert, so I don't know why you panned to me about that. <laughs> and it's kind of soft. So it, it's better than sleeping on like a hardwood floor or something. Um, Cause we sleep on futons, which are on the floor. And you can see I'll lift this all up. And we've got like tons of blankets now. So this is more padding and this is my dead futon. It's like super flat. Um, so we need a new one if we were going to keep staying here, but we're moving so we don't matter. And then blankets and blankets. So when you put all that on top of the tatami, it's actually sort of comfortable. It's not like sleeping on concrete. Um, and Katie has a futon next to my futon and that's Xenon. And then we have a closet that is huge. Like, the purpose of this closet is so that you can fold the futons up every day and put them in the closet. But we're foreigners, we're lazy, we don't. We don't do that. The tatami <laughs> underneath our beds is green. Still. Yeah, not terribly green, just a little green. And the closet goes on. Like, it's this entire wall is yeah. the closet. And it's deep, too. It's like three feet deep or something. Like... Yeah, it's really deep. It's like three feet deep. If you were a Japanese person, average height Japanese woman, you could sleep in here. I'm a little too big, but the average height of a Japanese woman would fit in their sleeping bag. You could camp in your closet, for real. <laughs> two of you. One, two. I need a friend. <laughs> um, uh, I want to show my calendar. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. No? We got cat curtains. These are pretty nice. Yeah. And we also have, I have a cat's my bed. Look at these guys. These I are have cats. These are straw cats. I have cats. Straw cats. cats. All right. And I have Rila Kuma. Oh yeah, she does. She has Rila Kuma. Okay, I and my what alarm's did you want to going show? off. Oh. Oh, I wanted to show my calendar. Uh -huh. So, um we don't have a typical calendar cuz we do I don't know why. Headbands. We do, but we it's in November because we just <laughs> reenact the pictures. <laughs> That's all we do. Um this is my calendar. I need to change the day. Um, so she's put this ring chain up. <laughs> and each ring has got a date on it. And then this little thing indicates what day it is. So this is my medallion. <laughs> um, it's 3.30. Tomorrow we'll be moving on 3.31. Our anniversary is on 4.1. So it's a busy weekend. It is. Yeah. And this ring chain goes all the way around like so. Can you shut off your alarm? Her, her alarm on her her alarm on her phone is going off. It's like, okay. And oh, this is Katie's. This is one of Katie's messes. <gasps> no, this is where Cotton lives. This is the cactus that I've had at school for gosh, years now. He's probably at least I've had him for a year and some change. Yeah. And he's awesome. He's a little bit fuzzy on top. He's starting to get hard. It used to be really soft, and now he's starting to turn spiny on top. Um, he used to be about this tall, <laughs> and all of this is like fresh-grown cotton. <laughs> yeah. So I, I water him every Monday, and we have our time together. <laughs> anyway, so this is a table that Katie has next to her bed for her laptop and stuff. A mess. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess here. I just sort of tried to ignore it. Yeah. And then we have a sliding door, and we open the sliding door. Ta -da. And that's the front door that we came in. So when we came in, we went in that room. So you can see that this little area actually creates a bit of a circle. And this happens a lot. Yeah. With more screaming. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And if you look this direction, then you are in the kitchen uh, bathroom area. So this is like a really typical Japanese bathroom. Um, in this case, the washing machine for the clothes is right here. And these bins, we keep the dirty clothes and dirty towels in. And then we have like laundry detergent and then a book department and then towels and then towels. And um, yeah. then um, we've got the sink with a mirror. Hello and then just stuff shelves and stuff it's actually laid out pretty nice it's like easy to keep things in a good place and everything and then underneath the sink there's just a place to keep like lady products and <laughs> this is the shower and this door opens and closes it's big it's like a big walk-in area and the whole thing is waterproof and it is quite nice for showering. Do you have anything to say? I feel like I'm floundering here. It's floundering about the, about the bathroom. <laughs> I'm not doing good. There's a robot in the other room. <laughs> Show us the robot. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if the toilet, hold on. 
Mm. Don't open it. It's gross. We're not gonna open it. It needs to be clean. But basically, what's happened is that in Japan, you have to pay for a cleaning fee. You, even if I cleaned this apartment spick and span, like, to a T, they would still have a team come in and re-clean it. So, why bother cleaning it? Like, let them clean it for, like, it's gonna be like Nimon, which is like $200. We're gonna pay someone $200. I'm just gonna sit back and relax. So that toilet, not so good. You're gonna clean the toilet. Oh yeah, that is on my list. Yeah. There's, a, there's a couple of things we want to clean just because it's like you don't want to be too funky I mean, I'm not gonna go like mopping the floors and stuff. They're gonna charge me to clean it, but what, what's the rule? Pubes and fingernails. <laughs> yeah, we're not leaving behind pubes and fingernails. I don't want them cloning us <laughs> Okay, so this is the robo toilet room. I think we've already shot a video about the features of the toilet Many but videos. It, it's just a small room like I think Eric and I could probably throw a small party in here Yeah, with so. just us all right, yeah. so there's the toilet, and this is when you flush, the water comes out of here. It's kind of neat. All right, so you can, like, wash your hands off. And then you can use this creepy towel thing to dry your hands. And there's a little window, and there's, like, a shelf up here for paper. Toilet paper toilet and maps. Paper and, yeah. <laughs> toilet paper and yeah, maps. Yeah, this is our map. In case, <laughs> this is, like, if you might if you get... get lost on the toilet, you can find your way back. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the bathroom. Okay. And uh, you can start shutting off lights now. <laughs> and I guess, did we do everything? That's it? So, I don't know. This apartment is like 500 square feet or something. And um, so that's pretty big. Yeah. It's really small for an American <laughs> Again, house or something. I'm not an expert on this. So why are we banning to me? <laughs> it's big. It's really big. Like, for us, I was talking to Emma, and Emma's apartment, they pay around the same amount that we do, and we have an extra room that they don't have. Like, uh, an entire extra room. And like, we also this have a parking, so big. It's parking space. And, and stuff. we have a parking space, so... It's because we live a little ways away from the station. Like, that's it. Yeah. Ooh, I forgot. And then we have a gigantic spider that I made for school. Oh, yeah. I showed that a heater, but I didn't show the spider. Anyway, I think this has run its course. It so has, yeah. We will continue making videos as we move, and then we will make a video about the new apartment. Yeah. And we'll be standing like this the yeah, entire time. Yeah, this is the whole Remember when we were in the bathroom? That's our new apartment. That's about the same size, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, finish! Okay, so now it's tomorrow, or today. But from the last video, it's tomorrow. And um, we were up until 11 o'clock, 11.30 or something, packing. So, but well, we didn't get started for like 12 o'clock or something. So we spent somewhere just under 12 hours packing yesterday. Got everything pretty prepared. And then this morning, Katie got up like 7 o'clock and went and um, she actually dropped off a bicycle that we don't need anymore for her another teacher to use. And then she went and picked up the rental van. And then she, we started packing the van at like 8.30 or something. And we had to be finished and cleaned out of the apartment by 11 o'clock. So that was, um, that was kind of tight. So we were moving pretty quickly. And um, now, <laughs> so the van was too small, okay? <laughs> so um, we ended up putting everything in the van and like super cramming things like there's things like under floorboards and in weird places that are hidden and like it's crazy how much stuff is in this van but then like once we got it all packed with everything in it I didn't fit in the van anymore <laughs> so I took the train and you can see my gear here I am hauling a big suitcase and a backpack and a bag and this bag and that backpack so I took the train and it was like um, about an hour uh, ride on a train. Sorry, I'm just distracted. There's this lady that keeps talking with this dog and it's weird. But anyway, <laughs> so I took the train and now I'm walking from the train station in Musashi Odawa, our new home, <laughs> to the apartment that I have only been to once on foot. So I'm not sure if I can find it. Like, I think maybe I can find it. We're gonna give it a go. But um, if I recall, all we had to do was, you see this red road? <laughs> Walk down this red road. So I'm gonna walk down this red road, and then I'm gonna get to the apartment building. I'm gonna assume I know which which building it is, 
And then if it's the right building, I think I can find which apartment it is. I don't know. And the apartment is supposed to be unlocked and the key is inside for us. So I'm just gonna go turn the knobs and if I end up uh, walking in on somebody, then mm, my bad. I think it'll be all right though. But um, I feel a bit like I'm in a top gear race right now with Katie. Cause she's like taking like this, it's like top, you know, the, the producers gave us this, this uh, <laughs> mission or whatever they call it. This, the producers gave us a mission to take a little tiny Japanese van packed completely full of stuff so you can't see out the windows and then race the other person who's carrying a bunch of crap on the train in Japan, blah, 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 blah. So I feel a bit, I feel a bit like that. I'm not sure who's gonna win either. Um, it's Sunday, so usually Sunday traffic isn't too bad on the roads, so she might already be here, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> she also doesn't have any uh, distance to cover on foot. <laughs> well, as much as I like winning races, I think I live here now. <laughs> Katie's not here yet. I made it to the apartment before she did. And as much as I like winning races, like, mm, I think I'd rather know that she made it with no trouble and she's not lost and uh, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I would much rather have had her get here first so I wouldn't feel like, ah, oh, she lost, what's going on? We don't have cell phones or anything, so I have no really way of contacting her and finding out. So, um, yeah, I'm walking into the building for the second time ever. And uh, you're just gonna have to wait. So here's our door, 105. And this is what it looks like inside, but I'll let you guys hold on for that. <laughs> I'm once again returning, but this time I've gone to 7-Eleven and I have loaded up on some lunch. So uh, maybe this time, no, not this time. Okay, so about 20 minutes after I arrived, Katie arrived. Yeah. And you can see our little, this is the van. Can you put your arms out so they can see the wing, the, show your wingspan. So that gives you an idea how small this little tiny van is. Let's take a, let's take a quick tour inside. It looks like a space capsule. <laughs> how did you do this? She drove with this bag like under her legs and this and then bang, there is no room, like no. everything. And I kept like trying to shove this away. It's literally touching the steering wheel the entire time. <laughs> I and like, so if she's here and she needs to check her, if she needs to, she's sitting right here, okay, steering wheel. She needs to check her left mirrors. Let's go ahead and, oh. No, 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 you use this. Oh, okay. <laughs> I used it to, and I almost didn't hit a guy because I looked. Yay! Very nice. And also, I'd like to point out this feature. Check That's out this my ca cactus this holder. Katie's cactus. And we have, tight, we have taped it, mega taped it to the dashboard. Not a problem at all during the whole thing. <laughs> all right, so let's drive over to the apartment. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be walking, unless, do you think there's room for me? No, not at all. You can get on the top. I can get. <laughs> I'll need you to help me get out of this parking space. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back up. <laughs> hey. I think you'll make it without the, the seat belt this time. It's like a hundred meters. Come on. Yeah. Just go straight on back. There you go. Okay. You know when you gotta move the paper towels out of the way to make it to make a gear change. You're probably not doing a good job. <laughs> Come on. I'm actually a little surprised the engine in this little teeny tiny truck made it with all of our gear in it. Cause it seems like that would be kind of a lot. The good news is that there are no hills <laughs> where we live in this area. It's all a big valley. So she didn't have to go up anything. If she had to go up something, I think it would have been a problem. <laughs> So we've now come from the 7-Eleven and this is our living quarters. She's gonna back up and hopefully not hit anybody. And it looks a little ghetto. It looks a little ghetto, but we live down this weird little alleyway now. But the apartment's okay. <laughs> All right, so this is the back of the van. <laughs> And I am already holding a giant thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is why I took the train. <laughs> because we are this full. And this is why I'm a Tetris master. 
That's <laughs> pretty amazing. How come none of it disappeared? <laughs> There's little spaces here and there. Let's get a load of the passenger seat. Yeah, so this is the passenger seat from this side. It's just a giant blanket or something. I don't even know anymore. Yeah, this is uh, this is intense. No, it's in vans. Yeah, it isn't. Yeah, there's no tent here. It's only a van. Har har. You're stealing my joke. No, I didn't steal that joke from you. You stole that. You stole that joke from Thomas. Did I? Yep. Oh man. You're recycling Thomas jokes? Yeah, all the time. Okay. Damn it, I should have said only all the time. Only all the time. <laughs> all right, so this is our, uh, I'll let you wait. Okay, so it is now 4.30 and the van is empty, essentially. That pole is going somewhere, so <laughs> other than that, the van is completely empty and we made like a mad dash getting the van clean. So let's take you inside and let's show you what the mess of our apartment is. So we are now on the first floor. We've been living on a second floor, so this is a big change for us. I don't know if we can get used to that. All right, so, and like I said, here is our apartment and well, maybe, no. Okay, we'll go. <laughs> All right, so here is our apartment and this is our little tiny area for your shoes. It's much, much smaller than the other one. And as you step in and you go to the right, this is where you shower. So that's the front door. That's the shower. So we're not talking about a whole lot of, you're not, you're not looking at a grand voyage. Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna be in that shower soon. And we have a cabinet thing here, blah, blah, blah. And this is all not our stuff. It will be leaving soon and be replaced with our stuff. And then when you come here, remember front door, shower, kitchen. <laughs> so this is our kitchen. And then we have our explosion. This is our living room. And this is all of our stuff that was all stuffed into that little tiny van. We got a lot of work ahead of us. Yeah. And we've got a closet. And there is a window that goes out here to not a view. So we don't, we used to be able to see Mount Fuji. Now we can see Brown Building. We could just call Brown Building Mount Fuji yeah. and tell everyone we can see Mount Fuji. <laughs> yeah, <probably>. Pretty big. <laughs> Okay, and then the other thing is, look at that, we have a upstairs that goes up to a loft. And I'll climb that briefly here, quickly, and show you what's up in the loft. Look. Not the scariest thing ever. Yeah, so we have a mattress, so we're not sleeping on a futon anymore, but we bought this mattress. And we have a mattress, and that's it. You have now seen the entire apartment. <laughs> um, I will do another video once all of this is a little less exploded and show you what we've come up with for living conditions. Um, something about this loft though, I know I'm gonna be up here in the middle of the night, I know I'm gonna have to take a piss, and I know I'm gonna have to climb down a ladder, I know that's gonna be really obnoxious. So I've decided, well, I tried to talk Katie into like a hose system, but uh, let's, let's zoom in. You can't even talk yourself into a hose system. <laughs> You're up there, I tried to talk Katie into it, but you won't do it. You, sir, won't do it. I I give you all the hose privileges in the world, and I mean a hose as in a tube, not not hose privileges like you can go out and hang out with ladies. <laughs> hose privileges. Did I do it? Just try to keep my hose down. <laughs> All right, so it's been about three weeks of us living in our apartment and having such busy schedules and constantly being tired from our busy schedules has made it so that it has taken three weeks to get our lives, our house, our everything a little more organized than it was the last time you saw this apartment. So right now I'm up in the loft and just relaxing on our nice new mattress that we bought from the tenants who lived here before. Oh, no more futons. Lovely. Not that futons are bad, but mattresses are way better, people. Just way better. All right, I'm going to show you the loft now. This is a bedtime banana. It doesn't leave the bed. All right, so this is our new mattress that we got from the tenants who lived here before. Um, perfect size for me. Eric's size, not so much. The loft itself, if I sit straight up, there's this much space between my head 
and the ceiling. Eric can't sit up. I don't fit. Yeah, and it looks like these dents probably came from someone hurting themselves before we came in. That's not one of ours. Um, upstairs has a nice little window for ventilation, and this is where the family lives. Who's the family? Everyone. <laughs> you get a tight shot on the family for me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the family. <laughs> and uh, this is an air conditioner that's up on the second floor for heating this little cube of air here in the loft. Or I don't know why there are two. Um, in our old apartment, gigantic apartment, we only had one air conditioner. Yeah, so there's one here and there's one there. And they're for heating and cooling. Yeah. And so. it works as a fan as well. Like, it'll just move air through. Yeah. Um, so basically... Don't know why that's here, but okay. All right, well, that's the loft. Let's go downstairs. I have to go down the ladder. It's yeah. scary. Backwards, holding a camera. I get to go forward. Keeping you in the frame. Mostly. <laughs> All right, I haven't planned out what to say down here, so. Gonna keep it a little brief, kind of just say things that are going on that we bought or how we're making things a little bit smaller here. Um, first off, I wanna thank all the people who helped out for Eric's birthday. Um, we had a coloring contest-ish thing, just more participa participation than anything. And right now we're having a last man standing competition to see how long the tape can hold on. <laughs> um, so this is the living room here. And we bought these IKEA chairs and ottomans so that we could be comfortable and enjoy our life here in Musashi Urawa instead of sitting in our really uncomfortable kitchen chairs that we have sat in for two years in Kumagaya. So we have a kitchen table and we have a relaxing area. Outside, recycling, trash, koinobari, stinky towel. <laughs> Um, computers and stuff just relax right there. Um, we also have some storage in here so that we can put things away. It's kind of weirdly accessible though, like it's like on the side. So you have to go through the chair to get into it, but it is what it is. This thing also has wheels and it'll roll out, but it always gets caught up on the cables for the computer. So I don't know, we haven't really nailed this one down yet, but it's pretty like convenient to have a little stand there, obviously. This is koala -chan. This is koala -chan. Didn't Emma give you a koala -chan? Yeah, she did. Um, we bought this big guy from Ikea. It looks so small on the frame it though. It's really small. <laughs> You're like, it, big guy. It's almost as tall as I am and basically we put all of our storage in here. It, it's My shoulder is at it's, risk. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it is barely... No, it is not nearly as tall as you. It's, I've done some pretty intense measurements here. Oh, have you? And. It's got the nipples beat, but we definitely... <laughs> anyway, so this is a thing that we bought so we can put things in it. Yeah, good good, good detail there. We had a closet last time. In, in Kumagai, we had a closet that basically did this, but now we had to make a closet that would do it. Um, the basic stacking works much better here than anything else. So basically stacking our stuff, trash cans, Refrigerator, and we've also stacked our drying rack for dishes <laughs> onto the refrigerator, which saves space because there would be no space in this kitchen for drying. Yeah, this this is uh, where would you dry your stuff? But I mean, most people, I guess, could dry it by hand with a towel. But then that's what the people before were doing. They'd wash the dishes, dry them with a the towel, and put them away. And or at least I think that's what they were doing. It looked like that's what she was doing. Um, so this is our kitchen, quite small, but. We have two burners. Yeah, it's which nice. Is lovely. We only had one at the last place. And our washing machine is here in this little okay. nook. <laughs> this little nook. We are so tight. I'd like to point this out. We are so tight on space that in the toilet room is where we keep the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> but what's nice about that is it's easily accessible. It's not stuck in the closet with a whole bunch of stuff making it hard to get out. Like now I actually am like, oh, it only takes 
this to take the vacuum cleaner out instead of all of this trying to move things out of the way. So I actually vacuum. It's just not conventional. Yeah. Don't poop on my vacuum cleaner. <laughs> um, so that's the toilet room. Nothing really special there. Um, there's no robo toilet. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. My life is really awful now. Our shower. And we actually dry our towels in the shower. They never get wet sitting there, which is really strange. Yeah, we're just, it's good. And then this is a really strong fan. Like the fan is like really strong when the door is open. If you, I can, you can feel, feel it here. Yeah, you can feel a breeze. So it actually keeps the room pretty dry. And I think because the towels are right under it, it keeps the towels really dry as well. You just yeah. let it run for 20 minutes after yeah. you take a shower or whatever. Very nice. Um, what else and have you done? the last thing, our drying rack is a bit of a... This is a, this is a relic nuisance. from my birthday party. That's his chicken. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he follows you around and waits at the door for you and stuff. It's... I saw him in the shower the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is the clothes drying rack we have in case it's, I mean, we can hang outside, but if it's raining or something, we can hang in here. But this thing takes up a lot of space. I'd it like takes to... up a lot of space. This is the one thing that, like, we haven't figured out yet, making it small I mean, or making it more convenient. It fits here, but it's just sort of annoying. Then you can't, like, you have to move it out to go into the closet, but here's our closet. We have this, like, IKEA light here. And um, so we bought some of these racks and stuff to put our clothes in, like socks and underwear. And that, we got the towels down there right now. It's kind of annoying, but um, it mm. is what it is. Dirty clothes. Dirty clothes and dirty towels can go in these like bins here. Recently, all of my clothes fell down, but yeah. right now they're kind of up. So this is that's like good. A, a rack that uses pressure to hold itself up instead of being actually bolted in. And um, Sometimes they fall down yeah, and then you're down. upset about it because your clothes never stay where they're supposed to. Yeah. Um, tons of storage up here. This yeah. goes quite high into the ceiling. It is pretty high. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, but so these are like futons storage. and stuff. So when people come, which actually... We had five people sleeping in this apartment uh, <laughs> last Saturday. And tonight. And tonight we'll have three. Yeah. It, that's including us. Yeah. We're, we're not bringing that many people in <laughs> yeah so and five people slept comfortably only because the swedes can sleep in such close parameters <laughs> if not maybe it would have been a little more difficult thank you swedes <laughs> compressible swedes compressible swedes. <laughs> but that's our new apartment and all of the things that we've done to kind of take our big life in kumagaya and make it a little bit smaller here in musashi Urawa. Annoyingly enough, it's not super annoying, but we're going to be moving to another apartment. Two, well, maybe not two reasons, but the major reason is that here in this apartment building... We're on the first floor. We're on the first floor. So we have someone that lives above us. We call him Threezy. And uh, Threezy, he's just doing his thing, but we can hear a lot of things that he does. The first night that we were here, he woke up at like 6.30 in the morning, got ready for work, and you could hear everything that he did and we had just moved and it was the second move that we had done and we were so tired and i just was like we can't live like that since then we hardly ever hear 3z what was 3z doing that morning i don't understand but we asked if we could move to a different apartment in the building and we've been told we can move to a second story uh apartment so hopefully we won't 3z anyone out but we won't have any three Z's anymore. You can hear this guy's urine hitting the toilet. Like, every morning I wake up and I'm like, oh, three Z's pissing. Yeah. <laughs> I like three Z, but I don't, we don't need to live with three Z anymore. <laughs> yeah, he's not noisy. He's It's just that, like, you really can hear every little tiny thing. And if there's going to be a second floor apartment available, we should just snatch that up and move. Yeah. Um, and so we get to do that at some time next week, I guess. I don't know when this is going to all happen, but we are going to move again. But I think it'll be pretty easy because it's only upstairs and everything's kind of, I don't know. I think it'll go quick. We've been informed that the layout is basically the same. Yeah. Uh, aside from the only big difference is that the loft is higher. Yeah, they said an adult so. can stand in the loft. Yeah. But that doesn't mean I can stand in the loft. You're not an adult. No. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so I mean, we moved to a much smaller apartment and we bought a bunch of furniture. <laughs> Doesn't make a lot of sense, but... But it worked out really yeah, well. It did. I'm excited to move into the new apartment and really 
go to the next level of making everything perfect for storing stuff. Like this I'm feeling, really excited. Yeah, feeling like, and then feeling like you can just kind of be like, this is what we are now. Yeah. Like right, right now, now, it feels like I'm in limbo. Yeah, very temporary. Yeah. And very annoying. Because we still don't even know what day we can move. And it's sometime. And it might be week. like, it's sometime between tomorrow and a week from tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what day. It's and really confusing. my brother is coming today. I'm going to the airport to pick him up. And he's going to be here during that time when we're moving. And that's so strange. Like, all right, buddy. Help us move. <laughs> Have fun in Japan. <laughs> All right. Bye. So much force, it just pushes you up on your feet. Oh, that was nice.